Hey, hey, everybody. It's the Review Revolution. Back at you again. And uh, I got a new chair. <laughs> I got a new chair, so I'm going to be coming at this in a little funnier way than I than I might normally do. So if you see me coming from this direction more, it's because I got my new chair. So, little, uh, little what's happening in my life. But, uh, but we're back again, and we're here to tackle... <laughs> Figuratively, the uh, uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends Onslaught series, and we're moving on to our third figure, and that's Abomination. Whoo! Uh, the Villains Wave. I have to say, the Villains Wave, which you know, just to kind of go over real quick. We've got uh, the uh, Green Goblin, who has a variant. Loki, who has a variant, also. Abomination, which we're doing right now. He has a variant. Uh, Pyro, Lady Deathstrike, and Black Hawk. Black Heart. I had to say for the uh, for the uh, villains that they've chosen to uh, to do, you know that they they are not the figures are not just a tribute to the uh, to the uh, uh, villain legends of Marvel, but also very much a tribute to the heroes that they are the nemesis of. If you follow me, <laughs> I mean, of course. You know, by putting the Green Goblin in, you know, it's it's identifying that certainly Spider-Man is a great hero, and so the Green Goblin is a great villain. Thor, one of the great Avengers. Loki, a great villain. And for the Hulk, you know, he's one of the great monstrous heroes, and of course, the Abomination being one of his great villains. So, great series so far. Really excited about everybody. Lady Death Strike, not so much, but we'll talk about her when we get there. Uh, taking a look at the packaging, uh, typical toy biz, not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, super poseable, 26 points of articulation. So he's bigger, but he doesn't move as much. Includes the diorama in the 32 page comic. Hooray! Uh, collect all six P uh, Onslaught series figures to build your own Onslaught. And we've got the left arm that we'll be getting out of this pack. On the back, there is, I guess that's uh, that's Abomination. He's looking extremely fishy there. But there are stats, so pause as needed. Uh, possessing power and endurance enough to rival even the Incredible Hulk, former spy uh, Emil Bals <laughs> Balansky is cursed to walk through life as a grotesque green-skinned abomination. Forged in the fires of the same gamma-irradiated hell that spawned the Incredible Hulk, Balansky retains his intellect and with it, with it a longing for his wife he left behind. The life forever lost to him, enraged beyond measure, the man-monster has often unleashed his earth-shattering strength and defiance of his hated twin. Now, from reading that, I just want to be clear, this guy did this to himself. I mean, he basically chose to turn into this thing. So, you know, he's not the tragic hero like the Hulk is, or the tragic villain. No, no, no. He chose to do this. So, you know, it's one of those things where be careful what you wish for. But uh, that's a quick look at the Abomination in pack. We'll take a moment, pop them open, have a look, have some fun. Be right back. Alright everybody, we're back, and uh, got Abomination out of the pack, and whoo, 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 this guy is awesome! <laughs> he is cool! If there's, a, if there's no higher tribute to a figure that I can, that I can give is, uh, of, is to say that I've been playing with him, I've been playing with Abomination. I mean, it's something where I, I popped him open about 30 minutes ago, and I've thumbed through the comics, and I've just been playing with him. He is just a really cool figure. Uh, very, very well done. Really nice. Uh, is he perfect? No. There are two things that I'm a little disappointed in, but um, but he's still really, really great. Uh, oh, I love that sound. Love that clicking sound. And he's got a couple of he's got a couple places actually. Uh, first off, looking at the sculpt. There is no place where they they went lazy. They 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 were completely thorough on all parts of his uh, sculpting, every bit of him. The scale work, kind of the bumps, just everything looks 
awesome. It looks fantastic. I even like how the there's almost like some stretch going on on the inside of his hand there, on the inside of the thumb. I mean, that is just really, really nicely done. It's it's a it's it's such appreciated to see that on a, on a figure. It's really good uh, on the face. Now I. I don't really care for the fact that he has kind of the open mouth. I think a closed mouth would have been better. Or at least, you know, with his mouth actually open, without his teeth clenched. But being what it is, it actually looks really good. You know, the paint as far as his, his gums and teeth. There's no splatter or overpaint. It's so well done. On the eyes, you can see there's a little red surrounding the eye. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little red surrounding the eye. And then the yellow with the kind of fishy eyeball. It's really nicely done. Uh, the head is uh, made out of a black plastic with the green kind of dry brush over it. And it gives him a lot of depth and makes him look really good. Um, the articulation does go side to side as well as down and up or down and forward. So really great there. Uh, as you heard on the shoulder got some nice clicking in it. Just come out to the side. Twist to the bicep. Single joint at the elbow. Hinge at the wrist and on the fingers. So have kind of the fist or slightly open-handed type of thing. Now one of the drawbacks, one of the things that I didn't really care much for was that considering he has kind of these line scales right here, right along this line right here, they, they could have put in a twist at the wrist, but they didn't. There's no twist at his wrist. That's a bit of a shame. Considering how well they could have hidden that articulation, how big as he, he is, that, sh that, that should have been in there. I, I really think that probably should have been in there. Um, he does have a twist at his waist, and more clicking, which I love. No articulation in torso whatsoever. But that's okay, because after Maestro, with a big figure like this, I'm a little afraid of what could happen if he did have it. So, no uh, no articulation there. Um, now, his, his boxers, I just want to mention that on his boxers, the prototype abomination actually had these, uh, the top of his legs sculpted in the same green with the lines on them, uh, where he had briefs on. I don't really particularly care if it's boxes or briefs, but seeing more of this articulation throughout the figure, it would have been nice to have you know it stay this, the, uh, up here as well, at the top of the leg, just because I would have liked to seen more of that or of, the, of that sculpting. But otherwise, no major issues. Only issue I have is that on the leg, on the joint, you can already see where some of the paint is rubbing off. So that's a little bit of a downer, but. You know, it's not some place where you're really going to see it unless you go looking for it. Uh, the legs do come out and out again. Twist. Double joint at the knee. Hinge at the foot and at the toe. Same thing as with the wrist. Same thing like where I was seeing at the wrist. There's no twist at the foot. And, again, considering he's got these line scales where uh, the, uh, the articulation could have been very well hidden, they just chose not to put it in there. Kind of disappointing. Kind of knocks off a, a, bit on, a, a few points off. But really, a great, great figure. And, you know, I, I, kind, of, I kind of kick myself for not getting the... Uh, the Marvel Legends face-off uh, Incredible Hulk figure, the one with Leader. I'll definitely have to be picking him up now because <laughs> he is just, he just looks too awesome to pose by himself. Abomination really, really needs to be posed fighting with the Hulk. Let's see if I can get him to something. Let's see if I can get a good pose on him here. big wide stance. There we go. Maybe lean forward a little bit more.
There we go. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. I like that. Uh, no prediction on the di- on the diorama. I thought it was going to be like the Grand Canyon battle scene. Instead, it looks like we have a uh, a, a, a laboratory with a busted canister there. Uh, okay, that fits. And the Hulk issue, great issue. Again, if if I had the Hulk. I couldn't resist. I'd have to pose the two of them together. I'd have to bring the Hulk in uh, to, to show with him because that is a great issue, great fight. I, I, it, it, it definitely sweetens the deal for the character, for the figure. Uh, now, uh, as if Abomination isn't enough, he does also come with the arm of uh, Onslaught, who, again, he, just a uh, whole other thing here. I mean, he is going to be very awesome as well. I mean, I know I've only gotten one leg and one other arm so far to, to, to look at, but from what I can tell, he's going to be pretty cherry too. So he is going to be pretty, pretty sweet. For now, uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.